Hey Asters! Today, we're going on a super fun adventure to explore all kinds of lines, not just the boring straight ones. There are happy squiggles, bouncing bumps, lines that whisper, and even lines that shout. So grab your crayons or pencils and let's draw our way into the magical world of lines and their secret jobs. Aster Basics Lines are everywhere, in letters, roads, art, maps, even the lines you stand in at school. In drawing, a line is just a path made by a point moving. But there are many kinds of lines, and each one can show direction, feeling, or meaning. Let's start with the ones you already know. Basic Line Types Let's start with the basic lines we see every day. Straight Line A line that goes from one point to another point. It goes perfectly in one direction only, no bends or curves. Straight lines are used for drawing borders, shapes, and anything neat and tidy. This line is super disciplined, it walks in a straight path and never curves or wiggles. It's the boss of all other lines. Before move on, here's something cool. The next three types of lines, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines are all types of straight lines. But they go in different directions. Horizontal line. A straight line that goes side to side, just like the horizon. Horizontal lines are used to draw something like notebooks and boxes. This line loves to lie down and relax. It stretches side to side like the line where the sky meets the land, the horizon. Vertical line. A straight line that stands tall, going from top to bottom or bottom to top. Vertical lines are used to draw flagpoles, tall tree trunks. The vertical line, whether it drops from the sky or grows up from the ground, stands like a proud eucalyptus tree, straight and tall, it always stays perfectly upright. Diagonal line. A straight line that slants or tilts, not up, not sideways, but somewhere in between. Diagonal lines are used to draw triangles, ramps, and action lines. This line doesn't like standing still. It's always leaning or running, like it's zooming into action. Curved line. A line that bends smoothly, no corners or angles. Curved lines are used to draw rainbows, waves, and smiley faces. This line loves to dance and flow. It twirls, loops, and bends like a snake or a rainbow in the sky. Decorative and expressive lines. Zigzag line. Sharp, angled turns that go up and down like a mountain range. Used to draw lightning bolts, mountains, and energetic drawings. This line loves to dance in fast, pointy steps, zig, zag, zig, zag. It's like a mountain trail or a bolt of lightning zooming across the sky. Wavy line. Soft, flowing waves, curving up and down smoothly. Wavy lines are used to draw water, hair, or wind in drawings. Wavy lines move like the ribbon in the breeze. They're super calm and swishy, like a lullaby drawn on paper. Looped line. A line that forms loops, like linked circles or curly spaghetti. Looped lines are used to draw fancy borders, ribbons, or hair doodles. It's like a roller coaster going in loops or a ribbon twirling in the air. Looped lines love to spin and twirl like dancers. Swirly line. A loose, twisty line that curls around playfully. Swirly lines are used in drawing clouds, magic spells, or twirly vines. Swirly lines go round and round like a lollipop or a curly mustache. They're full of fun and imagination. Spiral line. A line that starts small and curls outward or inward like a snail shell. Spiral lines are used to draw snails, whirlpools, or spinning tops. This line loves spinning, like a snail's house or a galaxy in space. It starts at the center and twirls away like magic. Bumpy line. A line with gentle hills and lumps, like tiny bumps all along the way. Bumpy line is used to draw uneven roads, rocky trails, or monster backs. Bumpy lines go up down up like a mini roller coaster. It's like your pencil is riding over tiny bumps on a country road. Jagged line. Sharp, irregular points, uneven and spiky. Jagged line is used to draw sharp teeth, mountains, or torn edges. Jagged lines look rough and spiky, like a dinosaur's back or a crack in the ice. 
They're wild, scratchy, and super edgy. Scalloped line. A line made of small, connected curves, like half circles. Scalloped lines are used to draw clouds, lace, flower borders. Scalloped lines look like fluffy clouds or the edge of a cupcake. They're soft, bouncy, and full of cute little humps. Scribble line. A messy, fast, back and forth line with no clear shape. Scribble lines are used to draw messy hair, chaos, or emotions. Scribble lines are what you draw when you're super excited or in a rush. It's like your pencil had a mini dance party on the page. Squiggly line. Curvy, uneven, twisty line like a lazy snake. Squiggly lines are used to draw worms, spaghetti, and silly decorations. Squiggly lines wiggle like worms or spaghetti noodles. They're silly, bendy, and just love to have fun. Dashed and patterned lines. Dashed line. A line made of short straight dashes with small spaces in between. A dashed line is used for cutting lines in worksheets or paths and maps. Dashed lines take tiny steps, dash, dash, dash. It's like a marching ant line saying, cut here. Dotted line. A line made of tiny dots placed one after another. Dotted lines are used for tracing shapes, gentle outlines, or soft designs. Dotted lines are like hopscotch spots for your pencil, dot dot dot. They're super fun for tracing and playing connect the dots. Dash dot line. A repeating pattern, dash, dot, dash, dot. Dash dot lines are used for drawing special maps, diagrams, and secret drawings. It's a line doing Morse code. Dash dot, dash dot. It's like your pencil is trying to send a hidden message. Double line, two parallel lines. Two lines that run side by side without ever touching. Double line is used for drawing road markings, track lanes, or strong outlines. Double lines are best buddies, always together, never touching. Like train tracks racing across the page. Triple line. Three lines, side by side, spaced evenly apart. Triple lines are used for drawing calligraphy. Triple lines are like friends playing in harmony. They're neat, stylish, and totally in sync. Broken line. A broken line is a line made of tiny dashes with little gaps in between. It looks like someone cut a straight line into small pieces. You might see a broken line on a treasure map to show where to walk. It says, follow this path. Or on the road, a broken line tells cars when they can safely change lanes. Chain line. A chain line looks like a pattern of long dash, short dash, long dash, repeating again and again, kind of like a train with big and small carriages. It's used in special drawings, like blueprints, to show something important or hidden inside a machine or object. A chain line is used for a car drawing that shows how the car looks from the outside. But inside the car, there are pipes for fuel or airbags that you can't see. A chain line helps engineers show those hidden parts in the blueprint without opening the real car. Line quality, based on thickness or texture. Thin line. A very narrow and fine line, gentle and barely there. Thin lines are used for drawing detailed work, tiny sketches, or soft shading. Thin lines tiptoe across the page like a pencil whisper. They're like spider silk, light, delicate, and perfect for tiny things. Thick line. A wide, chunky line, it takes up more space than a regular line. Thick lines are used for drawing emphasizing shapes, borders, or important parts in a drawing. Thick lines are strong and mighty, like a marker shouting look here. They're like bold highways on a map. Bold line. A dark, strong, and clear line stands out from the rest. Bold lines are used for drawing outlines, comics, and making things pop on paper. Bold lines are the superheroes of drawing, loud, proud, and powerful. They always want to be noticed first. Faint line. A light, barely visible line, soft like a shadow. Faint lines are sketching ideas, gentle borders, or tracing. Faint lines are shy little whispers, I'm here, but only a little. They're like pencil ghosts floating on paper. Textured line. 
a line that looks bumpy, fuzzy, or rough, like it's made of cloth or stone. Textured lines are used for creating fun surfaces like fur, fabric, bark, or sand. Textured lines feel like they have personality, scratchy, fuzzy, or fluffy. Feathered line. A line with soft, blurry, or fading edges, gentle like a feather. Feathered lines are used for drawing clouds, hair, shadows, or soft designs. Feathered lines float like dandelions in the wind. They're soft, dreamy, and perfect for magic or fairies. Directional lines. Radiating lines. Lines that spread outward from a central point, like sun rays. Radiating lines are used for showing energy, light, or things coming from a center. These lines are like fireworks, bursting out in every direction. Or like the rays of the sun giving warm hugs to everything. Converging lines. Lines that come together at a single point, like roads meeting at a corner. Used for creating perspective or showing focus in drawings. Converging lines are like friends running to hug each other at one spot. Parallel lines. Lines that run side by side and never meet, no matter how long they go. Parallel lines are used for drawing designs, grids, roads, and keeping things neat. Parallel lines are best friends walking together, but they never bump into each other. Like train tracks going side by side forever. Perpendicular lines. Two lines that meet at a right angle, like the corner of a square. Perpendicular lines are used for making shapes, corners, and neat patterns. Perpendicular lines are like a perfect L shape, one stands tall, the other lies flat. Like the corner of your notebook. Intersecting lines. Lines that cross through each other, not always at right angles. Intersecting lines are showing movement or crisscross designs. Intersecting lines are like two roads crossing paths. They say, hey there, nice to meet you. Crossed lines. Two lines that make an X, they meet in the middle and go opposite ways. Crossed lines are marks, symbols, or crossing things out. Crossed lines are the high fivers of the line world, they meet in the middle with style. Or like a big X saying treasure is here. Lines with function. Underline. A straight line right under a word or sentence. Underlines are used for highlighting something important in writing or text. Underlines are like spotlights saying, hey, look at this. Like when your teacher underlines your name on a gold star chart. Wavy underline. A squiggly or wavy line under words. Wavy underlines are used usually in typing, it shows a spelling mistake. Wavy underlines are like a friendly helper saying, oops. Did you mean something else? Like a spelling superhero fixing your typing. Strike through line. A straight line right through the middle of a word. Strike through lines are used for showing that something is deleted or no longer needed. Strike throughs are like lines saying, never mind that. It's how writers change their mind and style. Guideline. Faint lines on paper, usually in notebooks or for handwriting. Guidelines are used for helping you write neatly and straight. Guidelines are like little invisible rulers on your page. They whisper, right here, not over there. Grid lines. Lines that form squares or rectangles, like a graph or chessboard. Grid lines are used for drawing, math, maps, or games. Grid lines are the neat freaks of the line world. They turn your paper into a perfect checkerboard. Contour line. Lines that follow the edges or shape of something in a drawing. Contour lines are used for showing the outline or surface of an object in art. Contour lines are shape huggers, they trace around things like a shadow. Like drawing just the outside of your hand. Arrow line. A line with an arrow at the end, pointing somewhere. Arrow lines are used for showing direction or movement. Arrow lines are the tour guides of drawings. They say, follow me, or go this way. Wow! That was a whole world of lines. Lines aren't just straight. They can zigzag, swirl, bounce, and even show your spelling mistakes. Ready to meet all the lines hiding in your notebook and drawings? 
Now that you know their names and how they work, you can spot them everywhere, in your books, drawings, and even on signs. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you had fun. Share it with your family and friends and hit that subscribe button so we can keep learning and exploring together. See you next time with more fun facts and learning adventures.